the play call he had on Purdy's injury, you could argue is beyond atrocious. <laughs> and I understand play actions, a big part of everything they do, but to have a backup tight end trying to block their best pass rusher, their best pass rusher. It, it's just, we always make fun. I remember forever when I was doing Raider stuff and Cleo Mack, like putting a tight end on Cleo Mack when anyone does that with Bosa, it, it's, it's one thing. I would have no issue if it was 85. It's like he's proven to be beside Gronk, the best blocker of the last decade. You, anyone beside George, maybe use check, but that's just a tough assignment, man. To have your backup tight end attempt to do that and just yeah. completely whiff and get your guy. He Especially got killed on a, on a slow developing play with a guy who doesn't get rid of the ball as fast. The one thing I would say, like we've talked about this with Garoppolo is Jimmy, when he decides to throw the ball, just comes out quicker. I haven't t- hand timed it. Maybe someone will hand time it for me and tell me if that's correct. But, but I, I do wonder if the development of the play you got to let because they were trying to let Ayuk get deep and even Purdy's like I saw oh, him yeah, coming absolutely. open. Absolutely, there's no question. I'm just saying like it happened last week at the end of the first half where, G- where Brock got hit by Micah Parsons, who came from the same spot, and the Niners hit Juwan Jennings on the next play, and then they kicked the field goal before the half and it worked out. But it was similar front side pressure in which he doesn't get the ball out in time. On a play that I assume if Kyle broke down, I don't think he talked about the play itself afterwards. He probably thinks that Debo coming in that motion is going to make Hassan Reddick whatever dance or no, not. He, he, was, he, was asked, he was asked about it, and he said, yeah, the tight end's job is to block the guy. Well, t- Kyle, that's a fucking terrible I under- play. I, call understand, I, I understand that. My point is, though, I think that play, some design, of the, the reason you run that guy, I would imagine, is for the secondary, and you're probably trying to keep the edge pressure off him. So... What they did on those first, that was the sixth play of the game. The first five plays of the game, I think they might have blocked Hassan Reddick with five different guys. They blocked him with Juszczyk coming across. Juszczyk hit him with a pretty good block coming across, like in motion at the snap, and then Juszczyk hits him. There were a couple plays in which he wasn't really involved in the play. Banks had had a great block jumping out and hitting Reddick. Everything was happening so fast with him. Inexplicable on a play that you know is slow developing. It's one thing if it's a quick screen to the other side, if it's a quick screen at him, a quick slant. Like there are plays in which Brock gets real Croft. There are plays in which Brock gets the ball out quickly. But that play was not a quick play. I don't I don't get it. Especially if you'd watch the game last week, Hassan Reddick was flying off the left edge constantly. I I also think rocket. Think about the offense they go against all the time. It's a lot of manipulating, just just the Eagles offense, manipulating defensive ends. So those guys are kind of used to, you know, kind of stopping, starting, knowing when to shoot. You saw Bosa had a play later in the game when he was still playing his ass off where he, like, just kind of mirrored the blocker and the quarterback. It was a, He almost got a safety. But it was like, oh, yeah. when you go against offenses that are constantly messing, when your own offense is constantly messing, trying to get you to shoot down or – shoot up by by week 18 nfc championship or whatever week third whatever week we're in now in the nfl season these guys have played what 18 games or 17 games plus i guess they've only played two extra 19 games he's only been on the team this year he's had a lot of reps against this team here's the other thing hassan reddick for a little bit didn't he play for the arizona cardinals like he's seen kyle shanahan before so that was a play that he clearly felt very comfortable to shoot and when to shoot. And obviously, he's one of the more explosive pass he, rushers in the league. It might be because he's lined up against the tight end. That might probably be the first thing that gets him fired up. So, listen, we, we, some plays work, some plays don't. That play had, I mean, just devastating ramifications, not just on the game, but we'll have to, by the time you, if you listen to this on Monday afternoon, I mean, you might have, might have some pretty bad news. You know, I mean, it was, got the guy destroyed, destroyed. I, I don't even remember too many hits. It, there's a difference between pocket pressure and just kind of a sitting duck and just a guy kind of untouched on a play like that. I mean, you, that that that's a play to get any quarterback in the history of the league hurt, right? Yeah. Where I'm, I'm kind of open and the, and the guy is whiffing and the, one of the best passers in the league because part of a seven-step play-action drop like that, I mean, he's how many steps is he? he he's getting some build-up speed there when he's hitting you, right? It's not one of those where it's just, I'm a couple feet back from behind the center. He's way back there. And not really, even though I, I got to pull it back up here. Even though the play is coming from his front side, did the fake take his eyes off that side of the field? Purdy called it his blind side. Might have. 
Did he? Well, Purdy said like my blind spot. I didn't see oh, him coming. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I didn't even, blind, like he said I was blind. He basically said I was blind. I didn't, you know, I was looking down the field. Didn't feel him. Yeah. He's looking down. It's what, Matt, it's what Matt Ryan and those guys used to talk about in this offense where Rodgers pushes back. It puts you in uncomfortable spots. You know, when I just take a five-step drop, when I do play action, turn my back to the defense, I'm looking and I'm just assuming everything's good. Yeah. When I take it in the sh- – it's why a lot of these guys like the shotgun because I can kind of see – my eyes are everywhere. You are – you're Kyle, Chan- Kyle Shanahan is the puppet master on that type play for your health. And guys, let's just say it, they're all getting hurt a little differently. The amount of injuries this guy has had on his offense. I don't put the defensive injuries on him, but the offensive injuries have been astronomical over the years. And the quarterback thing now, guy, if you factor in last year when Jimmy and Trey both got hurt, and then this year has to be a historic stretch of quarterback injuries for, for a team that was successful. I mean, a lot of times if you just say quarterback injured, you just look in the history of the league, like a team that had five quarterback injuries over a two-year stretch. You'd be like, yeah, they won six total games. And this team's won two straight years, a combined 23 regular season games and four playoff games. <laughs> like, There's only one thing left he... to do. See if he can hurt Brady. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's – Tom I, I was just versus Time to... and Kyle Shanahan. Well, I was talking to Coward, and he's like, you know, Tom never gets hurt. Well, in that situation, Tom could easily get hurt. Tom, Tom is not. Tom does not run the offense that Kyle runs. Like to me, Tom, Tom can't move. Kyle runs plays where his quarterback one has to move and two are a sitting duck for his play to develop. Yeah, Tom never gets hurt because he just hits the ground. Like he doesn't run these plays. Yeah, so it's play. It's I, some people, most people watching this may have it committed to memory, but it's it's play action. So he turns his back. And then he's got Debo running around, kind of looping around the formation. He doesn't really look at Debo. It's like a safety net, you're saying? Like you know, jump so, off well, that? I mean, well, you know, like sometimes there's a double fake. Like there's the you take the snap, you turn, you fake it to the running back, then you fake it to the guy coming on the end around. The there wasn't that. There was just the fake to the running back and then turn and look upfield. But uh <laughs> it was it was still he turned his back for the play action. And Hassan Reddick. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing just because it's just outrageous how quick he gets there. I've I've watched this play several times now, and he's you know he's standing up. Oh, it's 81, as everyone has already corrected me. With the Olay block, I mean, he gets his hands on him. He just gets beat. He just gets, <laughs> you know. And 72, good job to uh, beat this down this people. specific. Like when this happens, this is why the NFL is on such a different world than these other sports. Because forever, for the last seven weeks, as every week went by, like God, Purdy's way better than all these guys. God, Purdy yeah. locked to be the starter. God, Purdy wouldn't even do Brady. And then one thing happens, you're like, you start rethinking everything. And all it was, not because he played poorly, we didn't even get to see him play just because he got injured. Now you're like, well, can you take a guy with an injury history? You know, we're back to doing the same thing again. Well, like you said, we'll know more Monday, and I'm sure we'll talk about it more this week. But if it's Tommy John surgery or something like that, which I saw, did Jake DeLome? Jake DeLome didn't tweet it. Somebody would tweet it about Chris Mortensen. M- Mortensen, yeah. DeLome having Tommy John and coming back with a stronger arm. Chase Daniel during the game was tweeting about like his UCL. I didn't see if Chase Daniel added on like what his recovery time on that thing was. But. Yeah, I mean Niners quarterback. I think Chase. I think Chase had the one. I think Chase had the one that just needed rehab and was like four to six weeks. Delome and Roethlisberger had the quote unquote Tommy John, right? Which is not pitchers, which usually knocks you out for twelve months, like a big time ACL injury. I think it is much shorter, six months. You're ready to go. But I started doing the math. It is January. It's January 29th. I mean, March one. Uh, right. You just start doing March one. You talking about six April, months out? April, May, June, July, August first. It's six months. Will Trey Lance be back by then? Look like him and Jimmy were on the sideline. I said, I said, I, I, I text everybody tickets, and I'm like, if if Trey had not had a second surgery, would he have been back by now? And in the meantime, I was googling. Nah, technically, it was season ending. And he said, No, I don't think so. 
So, I mean, the stories had started to pick up that like Garoppolo would be healthy by the Super Bowl a few weeks ago. You know, when when does this ever end? Like w- Andy Mahomes gets hurt, it's like he's either going to play or Andy's going to play. It's not like do we have seven other options? It's just like these two guys. It's like Burrow just out there laying on the line. Burrow just plays every game. W- w- why are the Niners always thinking about eight other quarterbacks? This is this is not normal. This is abnormal. This is, there is a red flag here. There, there just is. This is not normal. It's just right. not. I agree. Now, part of it is Jimmy gets hurt a lot, right? Okay, remove Jimmy. Yeah. Trey Lance, shattered ankle, and Purdy running. One thing, listen, like he got a concussion. It's a free, I wouldn't put that's a freak deal. If he just would have got slammed, concussion, that's happened. Tommy John? <laughs> Maybe. You can't even make up the injuries. It's like, yeah, broken ankle. This guy uh, broke his foot, plantar fasciitis or whatever. And this guy, Tommy John, it's just like serious injuries. The craziest part of his Niners have been like as healthy as they'd been all in Kyle Shanahan's tenure for the last week up until the Elijah Mitchell injury. Kind of. I mean, you got you got McCaffrey getting his calf worked on nonstop. Yeah, Greg, fine. I know, but Greg Olson's like, you know, I don't even know if he could transition to quarterback because he couldn't plant off his calf. I believed him. Yeah. Yeah, McCaffrey now, the, quarterback. Christian, if I told you that Christian McCaffrey would have to grab a helmet that had a green dot during the game because the 49ers had major quarterback issues, you would say the line minus 25 points for the Eagles probably isn't high enough. 